Happy Halloween. They dropped a new Witcher trailer today, so I figured let's uh, watch it together, uh, react to it, and then see if we can break down a little bit of what's going on here. Very cool show I think it's going to be, at least I hope so, that we can cover here on this channel before our new Fire and Blood House of the Dragon prequel coming out, as we talked about the last couple videos. Anyway, uh, let's jump right in and check out the, I think this is the final Witcher trailer before it starts in December, so The Witcher on Netflix, the final trailer. Alrighty, we're over here on the computer now. I have it pulled up here on YouTube. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got. Ooh. I've heard tales of your kind, Witcher. Henry Cavill's ass. You're a mutant. Created by magic. Roaming the continent. Yeah. Oh, hard. We don't want your kind here. Hunting monsters. Ooh. Is that a drowner? I thought you'd have fangs or horns or something. I had them filed down. <laughs> oh, we finally get to hear his voice. People call you a monster too. Why not kill them? Yeah, that's going to be the Butcher of Blaviken. All of our choices draw our destinies closer. If he is out there, there is still hope. Uh, oh, that kind of looks like the uh, haunted forest north of the wall. Don't judge me. They say which Roach. Wait a minute, does he have an English accent or not? What do you believe in? Evil is evil. Yeah, there it is. Middling. The lesser evil. It's all the same. Yeah, this looks good, man. Is that Renfrey? Princess Cirilla. It's your destiny. I can't protect her. If you dismiss it. Girls! You will unleash true calamity upon us all. I'll take that chance. Oh, look, they got the little runes on there now. That looks really cool, man. That looks good. That looks good. Let's see if we can break down a little bit what's going on. Let's run this back a little bit. So it looks like we're probably going to get a little bit of an origin story, obviously, from the short story books that introduce Geralt as the Witcher as opposed to the actual novel. So they'll probably start with, with that, I'm assuming. I mean, you hear her talking about what a Witcher is, you know, a mutant created by magic. And right there is the Ard symbol. So the, the Witcher, Geralt, you know, and other Witchers, obviously, they know a little bit of magic, too. Uh, they are mutants because they've taken all these potions and went through these trials and stuff, and that's how they're created. They they were human. But Geralt's a little bit different. He retained his emotion and stuff. He's a good guy, but he's done some bad things. Uh, and people don't like witchers because they're not humans, uh, essentially, they believe anyways. But that sign there is called Ard. If you play the video games, you know it's like a telekinetic blast. So they draw these little cool signs and... So they know, uh, you know, six or seven little spells like that, I believe. And another one's called Igni, for example, and it, you know, shoots out fire right in front of him. Uh, he's got like a protective shield, different, different signs. That's really cool to see that. But I think here, we don't want your kind here. See, there you go. We don't want your kind here. That's going to be a big theme. He's looked upon as this uh, abomination type thing, just like the monsters he hunts, uh, which in a lot of cases are humans. Hunting monsters for a price. I thought you'd have fangs or horns or something. So we finally get to hear his voice here. Um, I think that's, uh, you know, it's pretty good. You know, Henry Cavill is doing, I think he'll be a pretty good Geralt. But Geralt's known for his kind of deep, raspy voice. So, yeah, I think that that's okay. It just it just sounded here like it was an American accent. And then later on, he's talking about the, the evil is, is all the same, which is a big theme in the short stories and books, by the way, is like, choosing the lesser evil and, and that type of thing. Uh, evil is evil in his book. So he doesn't really believe in choosing the lesser evil, although he has to in a lot of cases. So that'll be an underlying theme as well. I had them filed down. <laughs> He's also a bit of a playboy, just to throw that out there. You're a monster too. Why not 
Now, right here is what I'm talking about. This is going to be, I believe, uh, him getting his nickname, The Butcher of Blaviken. So The Butcher of Blaviken is is a, a short story and where he obtains this nickname. So the short version of that is there was a wizard named Stregobor, a sorcerer named Stregobor, I should say, and he believed that all these girls in this particular village were going to be mutants based off the idea that they were born under an eclipse. They called it the Black Sun. And so he had a lot of these girls killed, and uh, one girl in particular named Renfrey escaped from the, her village, and she's been on the run ever since, and of course looks to get vengeance on Stregobor. So Geralt gets caught up in the middle of this thing. He had done some work for Stregobor before and never got paid. They end up in this town called Blaviken. And Stregobor knows that Renfrey's coming for him with this gang she's got now. She's built up this gang over time or whatever that kind of works for her. And she's a badass herself, but she wants to kill Stregobor, this sorcerer that basically ruined her life, essentially. And he's locked up in this tower and it's you know guarded by magic, so she can't really get in there. So her idea was she was going to start killing townspeople, just random innocent people, until he came out of his tower so she could kill him. So Geralt gets caught up in the middle of this and starts fighting with her gang. And she comes down as well and ends up having to fight her and kill her. And of course he does this in front of everybody in this town square just watching. And it uh, ends up being that they don't understand that he just saved their lives. And they call him the Butcher of Blaviken because it looks like he just killed all these people randomly, including this woman. And uh, it was all about saving them because she was going to start killing all them until Stregobor came out of his tower. So that's how he got the name. And I think that's what we're seeing right here when he gets the rocks thrown at him and all that good stuff. And all these people in the background watching on after this fight where he was kind of forced to choose the lesser of two evils. And that's another big theme right there as well as, you know, she's saying, why not go ahead and kill all these people that think you're a monster? And he's like, well, that would confirm that I am what they say I am. So he does have a conscience, and that's a big theme about witchers. Everybody thinks they have no emotion and stuff like that. And he tries to talk himself into that sometimes, too, at least in the short stories. He, he really does. He retained his emotion. And he has uh, feelings for people and tries to do the right thing for the most part. Oh, there's old Roach there. And so these other soldiers you're seeing fight, um, depending on the armor, is the Nilfgaardian. That's the big empire uh, that's trying to take over the rest of the world. And this is just known as the continent. There's no real name for this world. But, of course, he gets caught up with feelings and emotions for Yennefer and Triss and all these other things going on in the middle of him doing his job as a monster hunter. So a lot of politics, a lot of sex, a lot of, you know, battles and all that good stuff as far as, you know, kind of that medieval feel with a bit more magic than A Song of Ice and Fire. Yeah, that looks really good. Uh, this is going to be a great show, I think. Keep to the story and keep to the characters, and it's a really good uh, set of stories. Uh, this looks really good. I think we're going to enjoy this show. If you like Game of Thrones and that type of feel, you know, medieval, a little bit of magic, this is going to contain a little bit more magic than uh, A Song of Ice and Fire or Game of Thrones, um, but it won't be over the top like a, a Harry Potter. I don't, I don't know if that makes any sense, but... Um, it'll be a good balance, I think. So really good show, really good themes and all that good stuff, and a really badass character in Geralt. And then Yennefer as well. She's a badass sorceress. Siri trained to be a witcher, never completed the training. They'll go into all that stuff as well. So we'll definitely be covering The Witcher here. We'll probably break it up into weeks since Netflix drops it all at one time, but we'll do a week-to-week -week, you know, episode breakdown and then live stream or whatever on Sundays as usual. So anyway, thank you for all the support, especially you guys on Patreon, and a huge shout-out to my executive Patreon Smokescreen producers. And if you dig what I do here, please give these videos a like, comment, and a share. And to follow along with The Witcher and Star Wars Mandalorian and the upcoming House of the Dragon, amongst other things, be sure to subscribe to get everything and click that notification bell so you're notified when I drop a new video. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I'll take that chance.